stop trying to understand. You're in class, something happens, and you don't quite understand. So you raise your hand. You ask the question, you get a response. The response makes no sense at all. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So what do you do? You go home, you go on the internet, you type it on Google, right? Just Google it, see what comes up. Still can't find the answer. You email your teacher, you don't get a response. Maybe you do, and it still doesn't make sense. You spend so much time trying to understand why, but not enough time actually doing math and doing other math problems. One of the secrets, I think, to getting ahead in mathematics is learning to accept that sometimes you're just not gonna get it, okay? You're just not gonna get it. You have to be able to prioritize your time and give up strategically. When I first started grad school, they assigned me an advisor, really smart guy from Argentina, brilliant mathematician. His advisor was somewhat famous. I mean, famous enough to have a Wikipedia page, so I thought it was pretty cool. Anyways, he told me the most important thing to do is to manage my time and not spend too much time on any one particular problem. Looking back, I did not listen to his advice. I was stuck on a problem once and I just didn't understand it. And it turned out that the problem had a typo. <laughs> you know, I lost probably a week of my life on a problem that had a typo. If I would have taken his advice, I would have been much better off. So the point is, if you're having a hard time, if you feel like you don't understand, it's okay, right? It's okay not to get it. It's okay not to understand. It's normal, right? If math was easy, like everyone would do it. If math was easy, people wouldn't watch math videos. People wouldn't go to college to learn math. They would just say, hey, it's Saturday. I'm gonna learn some math tonight and then we'll go out and hang out. Like it just doesn't work that way, right? Math takes an incredible amount of time and effort. It is extremely hard for everyone. I've met people who are brilliant and I've met people who are not so brilliant and they all work really, really, really hard. So if you're hung up on something and you're just trying to understand, sometimes it's better to just let go and move on. So what do you do when you don't understand? Well, you focus on something else. You have to actually mentally pry yourself away from whatever you're trying to understand and focus on something else. I have found that the following things help me. One, take a walk. Right, go for a long walk. As long as it's safe to go outside and hopefully where you live, it's safe enough that you can just walk outside, just go for a walk and just clear your mind. Usually at the beginning of a walk, if you're working on a problem, you're gonna keep thinking about it and you're just gonna be enveloped in your mind and enveloped in the thinking, but it's okay, you can do that, right? Let your thoughts go, walk, get the blood flowing, right? Get outside, get some fresh air and go for a walk. I cannot tell you how many times a walk has helped. At the end of your walk, when you come back, you're gonna feel refreshed and then you can move on to something else. The second thing you should do is just try to do something completely different mathematically, right? So move on to a completely different subject or just a completely different area of what you're working on. For example, if you're stuck on a ring theory proof that's part of your ring theory homework and it's due in three days, maybe move on to something else and work on some group theory or maybe do something a little bit more interesting, right? Do what you want to do because people like doing whatever they want to do. So that, that's one of the reasons that self-study is so wonderful because you can pick up a book and you can pick up any book you want. No one's telling you to do it. So it's kind of like you're doing it just for learning. So step back from whatever is confusing you, whatever you've been harping on for so long, and just do something else. And the last thing you should do is just realize that, again, everyone has a really hard time learning. So it's okay. It's okay to be stuck. So next time you're having a really hard time, trying to understand something, try to follow those tips, right? Go for a walk, do something completely different, and realize that it's okay, you're gonna get stuck. One of the things I think that you'll learn the more you study math is you'll learn how beautiful it is and how 
interconnected it all is that I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it because math truly is beautiful, but it's also really tough. You know, that satisfaction, that personal fulfillment that you get by understanding math and by explaining it to others only comes through a lot of really hard work. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.